In this video, I want to talk about some of the factors that you should consider when applying to graduate school. Most people, when they think of going to graduate school for math or some other field, they just think, oh, I just want to go to the best possible school I can get into. That's fine, um, but I really think there's more things that you should consider. It's not all about getting into the best school. Um, let me just give you a couple examples from my personal experience. So as an example, I did not apply to Harvard. You say, Harvard? You'd never get into Harvard. I probably wouldn't. But, and this might be a bad reason, but the reason I didn't apply is because I felt that their qualifying exams were too difficult. I thought I would never survive at Harvard. Uh, I didn't apply to the University of Notre Dame because they required that first year students take four courses. And I thought I would not be able to handle that. I mean, I was just finishing a four year degree. I was taking three hard math classes in one easy class. And I was studying like crazy. I mean, I got straight A's my last, uh, my last year there in, uh, as an undergrad. But I studied like crazy. And I thought, okay, four math classes, I'm going to be like in a different state. I shouldn't take that on. I felt that it might be a bit much for me. And I wasn't ready to make that step. So I crossed off Notre Dame. I didn't apply to Princeton because I believe, I believe, I might be mistaken, I believe at the time, Princeton required that you passed a language exam. And I think they also required four classes. So they wanted a language exam either in French, German, or Russian after the first year. I think. I'm going off the top of my head here. And that kind of scared me away. It was either that or the four classes, or maybe it was the fact it was Princeton. But I think it was the language, uh, language exam. So there are things that kept me away from certain graduate schools. So difficulty. So keep that in mind. Can you can you survive there? You know, don't 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 say, oh, I, I can never survive at MIT. Maybe you can, right? Just think about where you are now and where can you be in where can you be in a year. Another factor you should consider uh, is funding. So the funding goes along with something else very very important. It's cost of living. So if a certain school is going to give you twenty one thousand uh, dollars a year. But the apartments there are at least, you know, thirteen hundred dollars a month. Ooh, <laughs> things are a little bit tight, right? You might not be able to live on your own. So, funding is important. Make sure that you have enough funding to live how you want to live. So, if you want to live alone while you're in graduate school, make sure that your program will pay you enough so that you can actually rent an apartment in the area. So, how do you do that? Ah, you go on Google, the power of the internet, and you search for apartments in the area. That's right. You find apartments before you apply to graduate school. You might say, that's crazy. No, it's not. I did that. I did that for every single school I applied to. I, I found the school, and I looked at um, how much they paid, and I made sure I could find an apartment even before applying. I actually had several apartments picked out. <laughs> at least some, some. Not, not, not for every school, but several apartments picked out already even before I got in. Like, oh, okay, that seems like a good complex. I'll probably look at that a little bit more if I get in, okay, if I get in. So make sure that the funding lets you live how you want to live. Another thing you should consider is field of study. So this, I think, is not as important as maybe you think it is, okay? You might think, oh, I really want to, like, I want to be a topologist, or, oh, I want to study abstract algebra, I love algebra, oh, I want to, like, oh, I definitely want to do statistics, so I want to go somewhere where I can do statistics. You may feel that way now, but after a year in grad school, after being surrounded by highly intelligent classmates, being taught by world-renowned professors, your viewpoint might completely change and you might jump into something else. At least in pure math, in most programs, you don't even start doing research until like your second or third year. So you still have so much to learn. So there is so much math out there and we don't even know it. I don't even know it, right? There's just so much math out there. So keep an open mind. So I don't think that should be a priority. Now, the size of the graduate program can dictate your opportunities as well. So some of the larger graduate programs have a lot of professors. For example, Texas A&M has a very big math department. I actually applied to, to Texas A&M. I got in. I got into Texas A&M. I got a full ride. I got you know, four, I think it was a four-year fellowship. I didn't go. Why? I, I got into a better school. But it's a great school, right? I applied to Texas A&M because it's a great school and they have a huge department. I mean, there are so many math professors there. It is a great school. Um, so yeah, so keep that in mind. So the size does matter, okay, when it comes to 
uh, when it comes to graduate schools. The bigger the program, you know, the more options you have. The smaller the program, I guess the more personable it is, but I think it's better to go to, to a bigger program. Um, so keep those things in mind when you're, when you're applying to grad school. Good luck to you, and if you have any questions, just, just ask. Take care.